So yesterday I watched Superman vs. the Elite, the DC animated movie, and um, today I was a bit bored so I felt like, hey, I'll do a review, I haven't done a review in a while. So yeah, this is my opinion on that movie. Now, I went into it uh, not really expecting much. Um, it, it didn't look, from the outside, look like a like a massive, like awesome movie, and it didn't, it didn't feel like it was trying to give that impression. It just went, oh, you know, you know, our bigger animated movies. We've got the Dark Knight um, Returns coming up, so let's just pump out a Superman movie, like a little, like, uh, hey, let's make this movie because it could be fun. Um, and it is written by uh, uh, Joe Kelly. Sorry, it's written by Joe Kelly. So I was like, oh, this could be good. Uh, I watched it, and it and there's a lot of problems, but it is it's a lot better than I expected. Like it. It's hard to explain. If you went into it expecting it to be good, you'd probably be a, be a bit disappointed. But because for some reason, I don't know why, but I went into it expecting it to be meh. And I came out and was like, oh, I, I didn't waste my time. Like, it, it has a lot of problems. And um, I'm going to get into them first. I don't know why, I just... Because. Um, the, the entire plot is um, Superman... Well, kind of versus the elite, but it's it's about Superman meeting up with this team called the Elite. They're a, they're a new group of superheroes, um, and their their philosophy is you have to kill uh, you have to kill villains so they can't you know break out and kill people again. It's a, it's a it's a concept that's been done in comics, movies, animated movies, radio plays, everything. But it, it's just um, another take on this concept. So it's it's kind of Superman feels like um, he's he's the world has kind of grown out of Superman, and the world wants to move on to these new kind of heroes that kill villains and stuff. Um, so it's this group called the Elite, and one of my main problems with this movie is that the Elite isn't really a group. More, it's just Manchester Black and some goons. Like, the goons really aren't... The, the other members of Elite, except for Manchester Black, aren't really given that much of a character. There's this really annoying girl with snakes um, I'm not sure if she's from the comics or not but she just wants to sleep with Superman and everyone and it's a joke that keeps getting it really feels like this movie was just like oh we're edgy because we're you know PG-13 or whatever it was and uh, we can talk about sleeping with people and it really has that really annoying thing with it especially with this girl but with every character where like um, it really wants to just push out unnecessary things that couldn't have made it in if this was a PG movie so, like, um, it's got, like, Manchester Black just swearing every so often, just for no reason. Superman says wanker, and it's just like, ugh, God. And it really feels annoying, especially being British. Like, the stereotypes they put on British people. And I get this was kind of just like, a, you know, Manchester Black is the embodiment of the British stereotype. But just, it really feels like they just throw out these swear words and these derogatory terms just because they can, and just to make Manchester Black look like more of a dick. So, sorry, going back to the team, you've got the Snake Girl who has no character other than she wants to sleep with Superman and everyone. You have um, the the guy with the chains on his hands. I'm not, I didn't even learn their names. They, they, this is what I mean. Like, it, it's just, they're so uninteresting. The guy with the chains on the ha his hands, and he's really just like... I want to punch things. The magician who's a drunk, that's his character. Um, I'm not even sure if there is any other than Manchester Black. And they've got Manchester Black. Now, I will admit that Manchester Black is kind of interesting in this movie. Like, you can kind of see where he's coming from. Um, but there's a reveal at the end, and it's really not surprising at all. Like, it's like, oh my god, that Manchester Black's, you know, blah, blah, this is his real past. And it's just kind of like, yeah, I kind of expected that. Um, and you've also got stuff like Lois Lane, um, she's in it, she's she's really good voice and she's got this cool story arc where she's, she wants to support Superman but she can kind of see, see where the elite are coming from, but that never really gets resolved, like at the end of the movie the elite make their big play and then Lois just snaps and she's all of a sudden on Superman's side again, like she never has, she kind of has this crisis of oh who do I choose and then she never chooses, she just, she just is with Superman at the end, like there is never like a bit where she kind of, you know, comes to it and she decides why Superman is right. She just, oh, well, you know, he's my husband, or he's my boyfriend, or whatever. Um, there's a lot of things like this. I don't want to spoil the movie, and I don't want to rag on it too much, but it does It does have a lot of problems. But I would say, if, you just, if you're bored and you just feel like watching Superman, um, and you're interested in that sort of thing, like, I watch this because I'm, I'm very interested in the whole, like, how are they going to deal with, you know, justifying... Um, Superman fighting people just because he doesn't believe in how they handle criminals. Like some people, you know, like the Punisher, 
um, Deadpool. I mean, kind of Deathstroke, but he's more of a villain. Um, they they go around and they kill criminals all the time, and you know, no one really says anything um, until they meet someone in their comic, and people read those comics. So, if you're gonna pit Superman, who's one of the biggest superheroes ever, and his sole motivation is stopping these people just because they're doing another way of um, fighting criminals. Like, if you're into all that, I know that was a very long-winded sentence, I think you'll kind of enjoy this movie just as I did. But if you have no interest in that, you have no interest in Manchester Black, or or just anything to do with anything in this that I've described in this movie, like any of the plot points, just it's just a bunch of fun. Like, it sometimes it takes itself too seriously, and those bits get a bit... Ugh. But I feel like, personally, I only really enjoyed it for the 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 bits where Superman was conflicted and you know and the ending I really didn't like the ending but I'm not gonna get into that because it's spoilers but yeah that's that's my opinion on Superman of the Elite I know it was kind of sporadic but I just felt like I wanted to give my um, opinion on this movie because it did kind of have a unusual effect on me in the sense of like I was like surprised coming out of it and I didn't I wanted to voice those opinions and this is what I do on this channel so yeah sorry for rambling. I'll see you in my next review.